Hey everybody. Joe Baby here. It is day 59 of my 2022 Appalachian Trail through hike. Uh, currently, I'm sitting at approximately, at this point, 975, 76 miles roughly. Uh, yesterday, yesterday was, a uh, was something. Yesterday, um, well, I probably should rewind even a little bit. I don't think I did a video yesterday. We woke up to snow and left out of, oh yeah, I did do, I did do a, a video yesterday. Left, we left, there was a cabin. We couldn't find a place to camp, so we camped behind this cabin, me and Eminem, and a guy named Forrest Dump. <laughs> um, um, anyway, camped behind this cabin. Got up at uh, 5.15 and did 18 miles into Front Royal, Virginia. By noon, 18 miles by noon into Front Royal, Virginia. Didn't know what we were gonna do, me and Eminem. Guy I'm hiking with. We're gonna stay in a hotel or were we gonna stay at the Stumble Inn Hostel? Uh, so anyway, Eminem texted me probably uh, an hour before we got to road crossing that goes into Front Royal, Virginia. And he said, hey, Gazelle is staying at the Stumble Inn. It gets good reviews, let's do it. So I said, okay, and he reserved himself and I uh, a bunk. So anyway, we got there at noon at the road crossing, sat there for about 30 minutes, and the hostel owner came and picked us up and took us to the hostel. Well, essentially, the hostel was uh, this guy and his wife's newly finished basement with... Uh, really nice kitchen and it had one private room and then two bunk rooms in it and it was it was super nice I mean basically you were home I mean it felt like you were home just really nice really like upgraded finishes and everything I mean it was so nice so comfortable um, Tempur-Pedic mattresses on the bunks I mean, he spent some money on this bad boy. I had to get it up all nice and stuff. So we, uh, so I was like, very glad we did that instead of the hotel. Because Eminem and Gazelle both, I should say neither of them are snorers. And I only snore when I have a couple too many drinks. Adult drinks. Might snore a little. Just a little. Right, Ann? And uh, anyway, so we got there, did laundry, got showers, and then at two o'clock he took us into town, we went to Vibrissa, Vibrissa Brewing, had lunch, went to, uh, went to the Outfitter, all this is within walking distance. Just head across that little creek there. All of this is within walking distance. And that kind of a nasty, really little trail here. All within walking distance of where he dropped us off. Grocery store. Um, and uh, 
course, I ate everyone's leftover food at the brewery because I was so hungry. I weighed myself for the first time. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's been a while. Uh, I'm down to 190, which is like it's 30 pounds I've lost. 30 pounds, which is my pack weight. So essentially, I've just lost my pack weight-wise. And I can certainly feel it, like, as far, in a good way. Um, I, I'm moving. Moving. Good, so. Uh, the lightest I've ever been as an adult, I don't know if I've talked about this or not, was in basic training. Came out of basic training in the Army at like 165, 168. And I surely hope I don't uh, get down to that. I surely hope I don't. Because it'll be a complete new wardrobe, including underwear. Just ridiculous. Um, and a new pack. Because I'm wearing a large pack right now. And the belts, the cinch belts around my waist are maxed out right now. So I'm a little, actually a little concerned about that because I don't want to have to buy a new pack. They're not super, it's not a super expensive pack, but it's like, what am I going to do with it? I guess I could sell it when I'm done with it. So that's a concern. Obviously it's not a huge concern, but I just don't want to do it. Um... Today is already planned out. I'm rolling with Gazelle and Eminem. I'm ahead of them. Uh, we're gonna do, we started right at about nine o'clock, I think. No, 8.45-ish, excuse me. And we're going to the Rod Hollow Shelter, and that is a 20, a, it'll be a 23 mile day, but this is like, this terrain is super easy. So I wouldn't be surprised if we got there. Um, geez, I don't even know. I wouldn't be surprised if we got there by 4, 4.30. I mean, at the rate I'm going, I know I'll get there by then. It was cold yesterday. I was having a hard time getting getting started, or at least it felt that way, even though we did, like I said, at 18 before noon. Just, you know, cold joints were, joints were a little stiff. Um, it was a little bit of a rocky downhill, so, you know, you're bouncing back and forth on rocks, pointy rocks, that's the worst, but today, today it's like flat and smooth, so if I were guessing, I probably right now I'm moving at about 3.4 to 3.5 miles an hour. Maybe more. I mean, these bad boys are moving. <laughs> it's cold. When we started, it was 34 degrees. Um, I had, usually what I do is I wear my Patagonia R1 as my base layer. I've got a, my Merino wool uh, t-shirt on. Patagonia R1, that's what I'm wearing here. And then if it's really windy, and it is kind of windy, probably 30 mile, 25, 30 mile an hour wind. Usually I wear my rain jacket as windbreaker, but I, I got a little too hot for that. And I had gloves on 
I got a little too hot for all that. So now I'm down to this super lightweight base layer, whatever, Patagonia R1. It might, it might be 38 to 40 by now, but the wind, wind keeps it a little, a little chilly. There's a uh, double blaze. That means I'm turning right up here, as you can see. And there's another single blaze that says, hey, we're back on track. That's how the blazing system kind of works. White blazes is the Appalachian Trail. So we're doing 23 today. Um, because I started out in a nice warm hostel, I didn't really need any type of a warm-up period when it's cold like this, you know, and you sleep out in the cold all night for me, because I'm not a spring chicken. Um, usually it takes me a good hour to get warmed up, joints feeling good, legs moving. Not today. Today I, today I came out of the gates cruising and I actually stopped to take my rain jacket off and everything and I still didn't see anyone behind me so maybe they're taking their time I mean I'm barely even my breathing is barely labored that's how flat the ground is here so it's gonna be super easy day um tonight's gonna be cold again uh, they're calling for the lows in uh, be around 29. Sucks. A couple days ago, I was in shorts and uh, t-shirt. Now we're back into the 20s. It's just not fair, but Mother Nature isn't fair, is she? So, closer we get to Harper's Ferry, which uh, from Front Royal, it's, it's uh, about 50 miles to Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Closer we get there, it's showing that the temperatures are a little warmer. So, we're going to be halfway to Harper's Ferry uh, tonight, this evening. So, maybe we'll get a couple, a couple degrees off of that. And uh, we are in lower elevations here, which is going to help the uh, temperature. It's going to help keep it a little warmer, I hope. Also, in these lower elevations, as I'm seeing now that I'm down here more, a lot more leaves, a lot greener. It's about as green as I've seen it so far. So those leaves help, obviously, uh, block the wind. So that'll help too. Um, finally going to get out of, uh, not too far from getting out of Virginia. Uh, super long state. Some people get what's called the Virginia blues. A lot of people drop out in Virginia. So I never really got the Virginia blues. Definitely missing family. But I uh, haven't thought about quitting at all. Um, so that's good. What else was I going to tell you? Um, Harper's, after Harper's Ferry, I go to the next map. So that's exciting. Um, and also at Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, that's uh, where you basically check in at the Appalachian Trail Conservancy's office. That's what I was going to tell you. And when you check in there, it shows you, this is not a race, but it is quite interesting to see how many people so far this year have passed through. And uh, we ran into, there was uh, three other people staying in the hostel last night with us who are a little bit ahead of us that know some people that are just a little further down the trail. And yesterday, their friend uh, just passed through Harper's Ferry. So they're a few days ahead, two days ahead maybe. And number 
38 or 40 that just passed through. So, something in the high 30s that just passed through Harpers Ferry. And we're only two days behind number, you know, 38. And my tag number is 674. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. So, I am not racing anyone, like I said. Um, I'm moving at a very good pace. But it's crazy to think that that many people have um, I've either passed or have dropped out. And you don't really realize that until you hear those kinds of numbers. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not trying to pass people. But like I said in past videos, I'd like to be done by the 4th of July. So uh, to have a goal like that for me um, to have some type of a goal to attain like that helps me to get up in the morning and get moving because I want to spend the rest of the summer with my family that's the plan that's the goal and that's what I'm going to do um, so that's all I have for you today and every step has been a journey so far oh one more thing tomorrow we hit I hit the 1,000 mile mark tomorrow 1,000 miles crazy and I don't even know what to think about that uh, the, and I'm, I mean the, cranking off a hundred miles every four or five days that's that's the speed that I'm going at right now I'm cranking off a hundred miles every four or five days uh, I'm not trying to get through too fast or anything like that. Um, it's just really my pace. Um, and I don't want to spend the whole summer out here. I'm not rushing. But I've got other things I want to do this summer. That's kind of the way I'm looking at it. So when we hit that 1,000 miles, uh, me and Eminem and Gazelle and whoever else happens to be there at the time, we're gonna talk about what our uh, celebration is gonna be. We might have to have some type of a toast, uh, an electrolyte toast, bottles of Gatorade or something, I don't know. So that would be really cool, a thousand miles. I don't know. Oh. All right, well, know the old saying hope y'all have a great day mine's shaping up to be amazing it's beautiful maybe need about seven eight more degrees maybe ten more degrees and it would be perfection but i'm enjoying it the day is beautiful the trail is beautiful and uh having a great time so i'll talk to you soon see you later